Hello, my darlings. I hope you're all right. I hope you're all right. I hope you're all all right is what I meant to say. Um, I haven't got any makeup on today. I'm looking as pale as a ghost. Oh, ooh, spooky, spooky. Uh, I've lost an owl there and I've lost an owl there and I've cut them down because they just keep lifting. I am just not a very good nail technician. Well, I don't claim to be a nail technician, but clearly I'm crap. Is what it is. But um, I thought if I don't come on and do these bits, a couple of bits have been sitting over there. And as you know, with the old OCD, I can't bear a mess. I can't bear bags being out or anything like that. It just literally does my head in. All right. So I thought, you know what, Lise, just sit your SpongeBob SquarePants batty down and um, just do a haul, even though you look absolutely rank ass. Don't I look rank? Don't I? I know. I know, but you know what? I have to keep saying I look absolutely gorgeous. It just makes me feel better, you know what I mean? But anyway, now, before I get on, this is a Sheen haul and a Home Bargains haul, and it's a big one, all right? And I hope I've got enough time. I was going to tell you some things there, but I can't because I've got to run the time. It's showing me 36 minutes and 30. I give them, I'll tell you, that bloke on that bike. I said, if I ever see him, he's getting them cups. Uppercut, right like that. But anyway, before I get on with my haul, I wanted to show you a couple of bits. So, my friend Sarah had sent over, um, oh, where was it? She sent over this thing she'd seen. Now, you know henna? So, a lot of people put henna on their hands, and it kind of looks like tattoos, really. And it's, you know, meant to last, what, I don't know how long it's last, actually, 7, 14 days, oh, I suppose, depending, whatever. But anyway, Sarah had sent me over, and she said, have you seen... The new henna ranges that are out. Well, not such henna ranges, but the henna. And so she showed me this one. It's called Instant Chili Red Cone. And this is what it looks like. And it's a bit of Sean's fluff, I think. It's molting. I'm telling you, it's everywhere. This is the worst molt he's had. It's been six weeks and he's still molting. But anyway, um, and you could over 20 million thousand, 20 million thousand, no such thing, but 20 million times down the air still there. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so I thought, let me give this a try because this, I think, is amazing. Now, say you're going on holiday, right, and you're like, oh, I'm going on me jollies. Oh, but I look like this, like this, without makeup on. You're like, but I don't really want to go on the beach and look rough as a dog's. Batty. So you might think to yourself, ooh, I'll tell you what I can do. I can put on some semi-permanent makeup. Enna, right? Now they do it in all different colours. I did get these from eBay. This one's opened, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I did get this one. For, they put two of them. I think they're about four quid. So if you just write in chili red henna, um, it should come up like this. But anyway, let me show you. So... As Blue Peter used to say, there's one already opened, all right? So, I'm going to get close. Let's get close. All right. So, I'll tell you. I don't know what this bit is, kind of. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Oh. One minute, I've got it on my bleeding fingers. I'm just going to wipe it on there for now. I don't care. I was going to just do lip liner, but I won't. I'm going to do lipstick. I've got to yarn, I'll tell you. Oh, 
Right, okay, so I'm going to leave it on. And at the end of the video, I'll wipe it off. But as I say, if you're going on the beach or whatever, and, uh, or swimming, and you want to look fabulous, I think this is a good idea. Well, it might look a bit cruddy. But when we take it off, we'll see. Now, I have done it already, and it lasted a day. I don't know if I left the henna on long enough. That I don't know. But, do you know what I mean? I don't know. But anyway, that's on. So, oh, I've got a snotty schnoz bucket. Anyway, but let me show you a cut a bit. So, anyway, I have a few bits from Sheen. I'm going to show you first. Now, first of all, this is amazing. However, I got the wrong size. So, I shall be gifting this on. And what it is, it is a clothes folding board. But apparently, this is a child's one for child's clothes. And I ain't got any kids that that small so um you put your t-shirt in there you go boom 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 and it folds it like it does in the shops but like i say i just tried to do one and then i realized this is for a child this is for child's clothes so there's an adult size and a child size and this one is unfortunately the child size i ordered the wrong one it was about three pounds for sheen but i will be gifting that on but it looks like it will be good if I had something small, hey, look, you can see here, look, children's discount clothing board, you see, but it didn't say it was a children's one, but it is, so anyway, that will be gifted on, hey, do you know what, right, I don't know if it's the same spider, right, so I've had this spider in my house, and was it yesterday or the day before, would have been the fifth time, and this time it ran over my foot, I swear, it's the size of the palm of my hand. I kid you not, right? But I keep putting it out and it keeps coming back. On two occasions, it was put down right at the end of the alley. And it finds its way back. And the other day, I was sitting on the end of this bed, right on yonder here. And it ran across my foot. I swear it's the size of a field mouse. Bigger than a field mouse. It probably eat a field mouse. It's that big. And then I start thinking, is it a reincarnated spider? Is it someone that I know? Because it keeps coming back. And then you could ask, well, maybe it ain't the same spider. I ain't never seen one this big. So don't tell me that there's now some new spe specimen, specimen of spider, that's all the size of your hands. He's got big antennas. His legs are like, I mean, he's got beautiful legs, like catwalk legs. They're really long. Makes my Charlotte look tiny, do you know what I mean? But yeah, it keeps coming back for me. Don't know. Anyway, then I've got this card. Uh, and it says, oh, I can't really show you because the stickers are <laughs> I thought it was good. I don't know I'm going to give it to you. Today we celebrate the day you came out your mother's vag. Only I would buy something like that, right? So I've got that card. I know I'm disgusting. Don't have to tell me. Then I don't know what I bought these for. I mean, you know, bring back the 80s and all that milarchio. But, again, I just fancied these. For the upcoming winter, because I've got some brown Chelsea boots that I've got off vintage, and I thought I'd look, I'm going to look hot, all right? As hot as this chilly red on my lips. I thought with some leg warmers over the top, look. What's it say? Zong Cow Musi Lao. Zong Cow Musi Lao leg warmers, yeah? So, you know, you just put them over the top, brush them down over them Chelsea boots, and I'm going to look fit, all right? I don't want any of it from you, look telling me any different i swear my frips off sitting here i didn't forgot to put me um what's it called fan on over yonder right then i've got one of these because i've got a steamer so these are all pence don't ask me the prices i don't know but anyway you put your hands in there like so and there's like a little bit for this bit to go i did have one before and i threw it because i didn't have a steamer and then I wish I hadn't have thrown it, but I say they're, they're not dear. So when you're steaming your clothes, you just like put your hands behind it like that, didn't you? And then you steam away. And then you're not going to get burny wintered. 
Yeah, stuff like that. Ooh. There's a couple of prizes there I can't show you. Ow, oh, just flick my nip. That hurt. Ah. Yeah, there's a couple of prizes I can't show you because which are going with a perfume, which reminds me the next time I do my I can't show you any of these. They're jewellery. The next time I do my um the next haul, I am gonna be doing the uh perfume giveaway. And like I say, the perfume is the uh replica Louis Vuitton one, but I will send a few other bits and boobs of it, alright? I know what you're thinking. Look at her gorgeous Jimmy Jams. I know. From Chelsea Piers about two years ago, but I'd not worn them. Anyway, then I got this. There was meant to be two. Similar to this one that I've got here. But just a bit smaller. But I only sent me one. Look, just up for up, up on me helix. Not that I'm gonna change it anytime soon, but I sometimes like the balls. Friendly. Is that Mimin Troll? One minute. I'll tell I won't have it. Anyway, knocking on my door. So I got one of those. Got me coffee, don't I? Nothing better than a bit of red in a coffee. <laughs> oh. I don't care. I've had worse in me, girl. Anyway. Then I got, oh, this was about 50, not about, was it, it was 50p. It's uh, ironing protective cloth. Cloth. Can't even talk. And, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's basically like one seal. That's what it says on the tin. Just open it. Well, I had one of these before as well when I chucked it. But because I've got the steamer now, I thought, mind you, can I lay this down and then do that with the steamer? Because the water might come out. I don't know, to be quite honest with you. To be quite honest, I don't know. But it's just like this, like a bit of mesh. Oh, God. Small as well, isn't it? Look. So it looks like that. I think it's to stop things burning, like if you've got silk or anything like that. Not that I've got any silk. Do you know what I mean? Oh, then I've got this lovely ring set. This is for me. It's gold. Now, I don't wear gold usually, but I see it and I thought, I like it. I'm getting it. I am, and I did. Now, let's see what it looks like. It's got a nice big fake diamond. As you can see, I've got to do my nails. I just don't, can't be bothered. Let's see where it's going to fit. Mm, I think it will fit there. Take these ones off. Yeah, there you go, look. Quite nice, isn't it? But you know what? It's because I have got some uh I have got some fake gold there, but I've also got some uh, juicy couture stuff, and I'll tell you what, my, one of my juicy couture necklaces is really old and it's vintage now and it was expensive when it was bought. I see one similar the other day on eBay, five hundred pounds. I couldn't believe it, so that ain't never been sold. I'll say that it can be Callie's heirloom. So I've got them. And then I got myself, me and Callie, a pair of these. She's taken hers. They are just some comfortable trousers. Um, I've got a size uh, 0XL. So I think that's about a size 16. Because my bottom half is tiny and plus they're stretchy. Look, they're bare stretchy. I could get someone else in there with me. So they're like that. So it's nice and comfy on the boots. All right. And then the bottom of them, I've got like a flare to them i've got a gorgeous pair of flared jeans as well i got them oh months ago but i don't really wear jeans i don't even know why i bought them i bought them months ago but um and do you know believe it or not they i think they were from peacocks but anyway so some flare trousers i know you were wanting me to do a try on so you can see this wonderful figure but you know what it's just you know you can't always get what you want you know <laughs> i'm joking I can't do trans, I told you, OCD. I know, I mean, I've done trans, but only twice. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, and then, 
this I think is genius all right this is genius it is called hang on let me just get into it first It's called Pink Poop Bag, yeah? So, what it's for, as you can see, it looks like this, the Pink Poop Bag. It's got a cross strap there, and then it's got like a big, big bit here. And you hang it off the back here and you poop in it, yeah? And then you can just dispose of it. really that weren't even funny i'm losing my sense of humor i'm getting droll and drab and dreary sorry about that i just couldn't think of what else to say at the time you know usually things come to my brain quick but my brain brain fog and all that it's just i'm just not happening lately i'm drab and dreary and droll all right i'm sorry about that now what this is i think is a genius so what you do watch this now i'm not standing up because i've got shorts on and you're not seeing me Right, you put it over like that, take that bit over, and then you take this bit over, and it becomes an apron that you wear. Now, I'm going to move it down so you can see the apron, yeah? Right, so there's the apron, but as you can see, it's massive, and I'll tell you what it's for, I think it's genius. Right, so when I do me clothes washing and I have to carry around my um, laundry basket, it, sometimes with my elbows, because I've got arthritis in my elbows as well, it hurts and it's too heavy for me. This is for your laundry. So you put your laundry in there to put over your clothes also to take out and put it on the line. You don't have to bend over, you just take your laundry out hang it up take your laundry out hang it up and it is a big capacity it's a big big bit it's, look it's big it will carry a lot it's massive and i think when i see that i was like that is so genius i've got to have one and it will help me with my knees bending down it a little something to me barnet i thought it'll help with my knees it'll help with my elbows it'll just help with everything tell me that is not amazing if you want, if you can't find it on there, because it just sort of randomly popped up and I see it, um, and you are interested in it, you know I can't link and I can't do all that malarkey -o. I'm just not profesh. But I will put it in my community post. If anyone is ever interested in anything that they see, say, Lise, put it in your community post for me, and I will do that. I will snapshot a picture of it, as best I can do. Do you know what I mean? But this, I highly, 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 highly recommend. When I see it... And the reason that I'd seen already one of them is because I bought one for me and one for Callie. Because she does her own washing and we took her one out of the packet. And I was so... What's this? I was so impressed. I was like, oh my God, I'm impressed. It takes a lot to impress me, but let me tell you, I was impressed. So anyway, I'm going to take it off one minute. It's easier to get off than I thought. There you go. I love it. I love that. Tell me that's not genius. That is genius. I wish I could have been an inventor. I'll tell you. Not that I'd have invented that, but you know. Anyway, that's machine bits. Um, now I've got own bargains. So I had to go pop out for Cali. Uh, I'd not been out in over, I think it was about a week, a week and a half again. But she needed some stuff and she was... Cali suffers the most horrendous period pains. And apparently the doctor said that when she gets these cramps... They're so severe that they are likened to having an actual heart attack. That is how painful her cramps are um, and her stomach. And it's just dreadful. When I think she's had that since she was 10. And then B-A-S-T-A-R-D-S used to make me still take her school. Even with the pain, she'd be crying, snotting, bloody running in her mouth, everything. And I'd get so frustrated and I'd end up sometimes like sort of shouting at her. And I, now I want to hit myself. I'd be like, there's nothing I can do, you've got to go to school. Because I was threatening, oh, we'll find you with this, with that. It's wrong. And I know why, because it's all about Ofsted. They don't care about the kids, it's all about their Ofsted. That's what it's all about. But anyway, I don't know why I was... Oh, yeah, that was why I had to go and bargain. So I said, look, I'll have to go for you. She needed her Panadol and her Buscapan, which is not in here, because obviously she's taken it already. But while I was there, 
I thought I did need a couple of bits anyway, so I got a couple of bits. I got another one of these. This a Sevi D potion. I don't know if it's four forty nine or four eighty nine, but I do highly recommend this. This with the scent boosters, which is in there as well. Literally, your whole place will just smell of the washing. Um, I like nice, strong smelling washing. People always can say my, my ass always smells gorgeous anyway, no matter what, because there's a lot of air freshness and stuff going on. But when my washing is out, it's got to be strong. People have got. To, if someone comes in, they can't smell my washing. I'm pissed. So. Um, it has to be strong, and I do use a lot of it, but it's a big one. It's a, it's saying 40 plus four free wash, it's a 44 wash. It's cruelty free, vegan and eco-friendly. So honestly, I do recommend this. Get yourself down to good old home bargains and uh, get yourself some Aceve. Anyway, then while I was in there, I see this and I thought, how wicked is this? Um, I think it was 2 dollars It's a Spooks and Spells Snow Globe Mug. Like that, hang on, let's shake it. You do the shaking back and put the freshness back. So it's got little, look at that. And it says on the side, yeah, I think I would have said that I've put a spell on you. But oh, and it lovely, lovely tea in that, or my coffee. Oh, I love that, I really love that. It's not a snug bucket, sorry. You know what, I'm best if I bring one of these up here. Uh, anyway, this is, uh, Mrs. Hinch's Cozy Season is a new one. It's white musk and golden maple, and it's the Lenore in wash scent boosters, like that. And the smell is ridiculous. Oh my god, it's so good. It's it smells amazing. I think it even sounds amazing. White musk and golden maple. Oh yeah, beautiful. So I got that. Then I got. Um, Astonish Toilet Fresh Ocean Long Lasting Freshness. Um, what is it? And obviously, because the bags have been over there for a little while, I've had to buy uh, just, well, not cheapy ones, but like, you know, we sell them cheap anyway, pounds. But I wanted to show you what I've got from Home Bargains. And obviously, me, I go through this like hot cake, so I've had to get more in between because the bag's been there for. When did I go? What's today? Monday. I ain't having brain fog. I went Thursday or Friday. Friday, I think it was. Anyway, so, one of those. I think that was about 99p a pound. Something in that range, you know. Anyway, then I've got these. And these are the Acevi Scent Boosters. And they are... The, it just says, new Acevi Scent Booster Liquid Freshener. Hypoallergenic, long-lasting fragrance. It definitely is. Maximum protection, premium scent, and it's blue. So, I've got two of them. And, oh, you put this scent booster. See, what I've been doing with this one, though, I've got to be honest. I've put this in as the fabric softener instead of using it as a scent booster. Because you're meant to put a scent booster, then your washing pads or all your washing liquid or your pods or whatever. And then at the end, you're going to put your... Um, fabric softener in but I've been using this as a fabric softener and it is absolutely oh beautiful now, let me get this other bag oh it's heavy not a heavy it's uh, do you like that joke a heavy it's heavy <laughs> so common anyway so then I got this because I well why not I couldn't help myself because I've got these I wanted to get the old shebang really because i had low but i just thought i can't do it you know what i mean I need to walk the lane if i want to do all that so um i got the white musk and gold maple as i showed you and then i got the white musk and gold maple uh fabric softener so i've got a whiffy woozy i have you know i have can you miss look at me not a shot bucket oh that is so strong. It's gone right up on the, its clunk of the ears of the of my nose. So you know, beautiful. Two ninety nine that was. Anyway, then I got a couple of these, uh, and this is meant to be Savage, and it is designer fragrances. It smells gorgeous. Now, I've got a Glade dispenser out there, but what you do if you 
buy a glade dispenser right and at the top of the glade dispenser if anyone wants to see how it's done ask your girl and i'll do a little short on it at the top of the glade dispenser what i did i took a little bit of kitchen roll rolled it up like a bogart yeah like that I mean, I'm sure you've all picked your nose at some point, so you know what rolling bogies are. Roll it up like a bow cart, stick it up there at the top of the glade thing that goes, that comes down, and it makes it the right height for it to then press onto here. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, so I'm using a glade dispenser to be able to dispense this, I know. And I was actually given that tip by my friend Lindsay. Hello, Linz. So, yeah, she told me, and I was like, Ooh, what a good idea. I did it. See, she said that her one worked with this one, but mine didn't, because I think it is slightly different to her one, so I had to come up with my own invention, which was kitchen roll. Yeah. So that. And then I got this. It says this is a new one out as well. Right, now, it don't say, it just says... Hang about... You're kidding me. So, obviously, that says Mrs. Hinch's Cozy Season White Musk and Golden Maple. Now, I see this, but look, it's got the same thingies on. But on there, it just says Mrs. Hinch's Cozy Season, like it says on there. But it doesn't say White Musk and Maple, whatever that said. I've forgotten already, you see. But it says Flash Sparkling Home Spray Wipe Hinched. But I've got a feeling... You get 800 mil in now. I've got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. No, that's not what it is. No, tonight's never a good night for me, I tell you. Not unless I was on yonder there with my Tom, then it'd be a fantastic night. Well, for me, maybe not. <laughs> he might be like, oh, that farty ass. Let's get rid of her. I'll be like, oh, I'll give you that Tom, I tell you. But anyway, um, yeah, so I think it is the same. I think it is the same, okay. Oh, anyway, then I got another one of them, which is the Savage. Savage, Vargy. Um, because I have it on the highest thing, so it squirts quite a lot. <laughs> uh, then I got this one, Daisy. I don't know. Maybe that's Mark Jacobs Daisy. I don't know. So I know if anyone knows. So I've got two of the Sauvage and the Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to do. Oh, I'm so crazy, all for the love of you. Yeah, I know, I sound about 150, don't worry, it's an old song. But anyway, so I've got that. Right. Um, God, I'm sweating. Does anyone else sweat there? Me's off, or is it just little old me? I'm always so hot, I tell you. Anyway, then I got you're my best friend. Ooh, you make me live. Yes, I got me bleach, and that was 59p. And I've got I, I made Callie pick a couple up today as well from good old Sainsbury's couple as well. All right, anyway, then I got these are my favorite. I really, really recommend these. These are the Johnsons. Makeup Be Gone 5 in 1 Moisturising Cleansing Wipes. And I've got three packets of them. Um, let me tell you, when you use these on your face, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. When you use these on your face, yeah, afterwards it gives you the most beautiful glow, like shine. Yeah, they're quite greasy. I think they're quite greasy anyway. And anything that's greasy, listen, it's going to make your skin good. I don't care what anybody says. Listen to me, yeah? I mean, I'm 51. I don't think my skin's too bad. Yeah, I've had some Botox up there. So what? Some people have, some people ain't. And I've got, you know, sphincter lips and all that. But this, nothing's ever been done to it. And it ain't too bad for an old bird. Do you know what I mean? So, and I think it's because I do put a lot of stuff that's greasy on my face. Like oils and stuff like that. I'm sweating under the books. I mean, literally sweating so I highly recommend these. They make your skin beautiful. That's all I'm saying. Don't need to say any more on the subj. Anyway, then I got this. Now, it is limited edition essential mist diffuser. Glows as it mists. And it's Stacey Solomon. Cozy Cottage Frosted Roses. What? One minute.
oh sorry about that you just seen the ugly boat didn't you i just the light went out didn't it baby when the lights go out every single whatever the words are i don't know but that was five and when the lights go out it wasn't it was me anyway so i got this essential mist limited edition um glows with it mist stacy solomon cozy cotton joe Cozy Cottage. But they reckoned it was twenty four ninety nine. I think you're spinning me a yarn on bargains. HB is spinning me a yarn. But anyway, it was down to seven pounds. So I thought I'll get in it on and I did and I even got this with it and all which is a bit crushed up. It is the um the same as that, but it's just the the refill for when it runs out. So I don't know what it smells like. I ain't got weavers. They've even got a scratchy. Oh, they've got a scratchy. Scratchy. Okay, let's have a scratchy. Oh, Alright. Sorry, I've got fleas. I think I'm going stir crazy. I'm in this house all the time. I have low life. I see four walls all the time. I want to be healthy. I want to be able to go back out swimming. I want to go to a nightclub. I want to go to a pub. I want to do karaoke. Anyway, the last thing I've got is this. W7 Very Vegan Perfectly Matte Foundation for when I don't go out. Because, like I just say, with all my illnesses and ailments, I barely leave this house anymore. I'm like a recluse. And I can't even sit and eat what I want. I just want to sit and eat and get, well, I don't want to get even fatter, that's the thing. But I just sometimes think, oh, if I could just sit and eat, I might feel a bit happier. So I've got this. It's very light, indeed. Shall we see what it's like? Ooh, wow, that is some good coverage. I ain't even lying to you. Look at that. It's literally covered up my tat. Yeah. One minute, now I need to wipe it. That's it. Got one of me uh, makeup wipes. I tell you, I'm impressed with that. I want more. Comes off easy, you know. Mind you, like I say, these wipes are firm enough. Do, 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 do. Can I ask you lot a question? And I won't be offended because, well, I'll just. Don't get offended, really. Do I seem normal to you? I mean, like you could say, what's normal? I mean, I know I've got problems, but... Do you think I act like I've got problems? Look how shiny my hand is. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, hello. Or do you think I'm pretty normal? Tell me the truth, all right? I won't be hurt. I won't be hurt by your comments. I ain't never hurt by your comments told you say what about me because no matter what i still think i'm absolutely gorgeous that's the bottom line that's the bottom line stone cold steve austin anyway i'm using these as it's near the end of the all the all the all the all i'm gonna wipe off me uh enna me enna let's see if my lips are looking lush or unlush See how shiny? Oh, I do love this. Maybe I ain't leaving it on. Look, I mean, you can see it's still a bit red, isn't it? But maybe you've got to leave it on for like years. You know, years. 
years and years. Um, I mean, kind of just looks like lip tint, doesn't it? Sphincter lips. Yeah, so I see it. That's the end of me all. Here, do you know what? I did have something else here to show you. Oh, not to show you. I'm going to do one of these for a go. They're called Impossible Decisions. Let's see what I choose. Would you rather be well? Would you rather be well paid at a job you hate, or badly paid at a job you love? Badly paid at a job I love. I want to work with gorillas. I've always wanted to do that. Would you rather have to drive everywhere in a monster truck or ride everywhere on a unicycle? Monster truck all day long because I love monster trucks. Uh, my brother used to love monster trucks as well when he was little. In fact, we went to a few. Uh, things that showed monster trucks. Anyway, um, I'm still waiting for news on my blood tests. Um, haven't heard anything back from them yet, and the C125 and everything. Still feel shite as I do every day. Nothing ever changes there, so I just I haven't even mentioned it today. But anyway, I just want to say, if this is the kind of thing you love, please can you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, drop any comments you want down below. I do always get back to you. And in the next video, we're doing the giveaway. So I just want to say I love you all very, very much. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye.